Ford just got finished building us a fire pit out of our old washing machine drum, which was really exciting. So I thought it'd be fun to try to narrate his build process. Let's get started. Okay, we're starting off with the drum. Looks like we're adding rebar and other metal pieces. And those are our ingredients to make the best fire pit. So it looks like Ford is starting by cleaning off the rebar, because I'm assuming it's salvage rebar that he found. Looking good. Ford is not strong enough to bend it on his own. No, no, no. He has it in a vise. Yes. And <laughs> he's going to bend it using some other thing. That's pretty smart. Good job, Ford. Okay, he's putting this at the bottom to create... I don't know why he's putting it at the bottom. I'm not really sure why it's necessary, but looks good. Cutting everything to size. Is that an angle grinder? Oh, right. I have to use a lot of tools in this project. That's really fun. Okay, ready to go again. Okay, it looks like he's going to weld those pieces that he just... Ooh, okay. That's like fireworks or something. Okay, so he's, um, he's welding the pieces together and to the drum base. I think he had to clip something on to to ground it, potentially. And we're on to more bending. And is that an arrow? I'm assuming this is all part of a welding kit or setup or something. Oh, he's making feet. Okay, so he's grounding it again, I'm assuming. Holding the bar in place with the little house's arrows and welding it onto our base. Scraping. Oh, okay, so this just fits together and I think you can pop it off. So it's not welded to the drum itself, but it fits inside perfectly. Oh, that's really clever. I like that. Flip it around, put it on. Perfect fit, bam. Doesn't, it's not going anywhere, it's not tipping over. That was smart, that was a good, oh, whoop. Thumbs up. Now, taking a Sharpie. I'm assuming this is for a cut line to open up the bottom of the drum more. And the angle grinder is back. I'm assuming you couldn't cut in a straight line because of those rivets. Should you be wearing? Okay. <laughs> I, I thought you needed more protective clothing on and then in the very next cut, you put more protective clothing on. Oh, that makes me happy. More welding. I thought we were cutting. I'm a little confused. Getting the big boy blade on, I guess. Something more heavy duty? Maybe that's the problem. Go back with vengeance. Okay, that seems to be doing the job. So we cut through this. And it magically falls off, mostly. Nice. So we have three parts. Getting a different blade. Oh, okay, so maybe the third part is so that we can get the ashes out of the bottom. That looked really sharp, so I'm assuming you're just sanding the edges to make it less dangerous <laughs> on both things, thank goodness. And pop 
chopping the three parts apart. Wow, so they're all like interchangeable too because you didn't have that bottom piece down. And everything just snaps into place. Nice. Good to go. There we have it, that's the whole fire pit. That was really cool. You got to use so many tools and it looked really fun. Two thumbs up. <laughs>